Welcome back to Sailing Joy. We're super excited to start a new season around here. For the next few months, we're gonna explore the country of Croatia. For some of you that are new here to the channel, I'm Ed. My wife Patricia and I have bought a Lagoon 46 about two years ago and have set sail all the way from the Atlantic side of Europe to where we are right now. It has been almost 10,000 nautical miles. We have learned so much along the way. We had highs and we had lows. And the most important thing, we had so much fun doing it. We truly hope you enjoy being part of this journey with us as we explore Croatia. Today on Sailing Joy. But I think uh, I need another tool. A Joy is here. After a seven hour sail from Montenegro, where we spent our winter, we finally arrived in Croatia. Our first stop was the Customs and Immigration's office in Dubrovnik. Clearing customs in Croatia was surprisingly straightforward. We made sure to follow all necessary steps before we arrived, and it definitely paid off. We were in and out in less than 20 minutes. Now, with the formalities out of the way, it was time to sail to our first anchorage of the season. I think during the day, this here, when the sun is bem acceso deve ficar transparente água. Tem só 4 metros de profundidade. We decided not to spend any time in Dubrovnik. You see, we spent our winter time in Montenegro, which was so close to Croatia that we had the chance to visit Dubrovnik several times in the past months. Dubrovnik is a stunning city, a UNESCO World Heritage since 1979, a place that if you have the chance, you should visit. But Dubrovnik is not just about history and architecture, it is also a city of vibrant culture and exciting activities. You can walk along the city walls, enjoy the local cuisine, explore the city scene, or simply relax in one of the many beautiful beaches they have over there. We highly recommend you stop and spend at least a day in Dubrovnik. As we depart Dubrovnik to seek our first anchorage of the season, we noticed that because it was super early in the season, we did not see many charter boats or actually any other boats around. We had some friends that departed Montenegro a few days before and were anchored not far away, so we decided to head that way. We anchored in Otok Kolosep. By the way, Otok in Croatian means island, and quickly decided to go for a walk and see the surroundings of this island. As we cruised in different locations around the world, we love the fact that we can leave Joy on anchor and go for long walks to explore the countryside. Now, Patricia and Anna are super afraid of snakes, so staff would walk in front making some noise to make sure nothing was out there. Olha isso. Como que conseguiram colocar o carro aqui no meio da ilha? It's always better to be safe than sorry, right? As we returned to Joy, we got a message on the chart plotter. Although there was not much wind in the morning, the wind direction changed 180 degrees, causing our anchor to reset. Every time our anchor reset, it does drag a bit until it holds back again. It is now time to go to the next anchorage. Sailing as a couple, you end up performing the same duties over and over again. Although it's necessary to know how to do everything on the boat, Patricia raises the anchor and a maneuver joy out of the anchorage. We're learning that the anchorages here in Croatia are very close to each other. And today it feels like a walk in the park, going to the next anchorage, which is right next door to us. One thing that we see here all the time are the ferry boats. I always get out of the way quickly so they can pass. And in my opinion, too close. If their wake catches sideways, it could mean a mess inside of Joy as we are shaking from one side to the other. So it's better to point Joy 30 degrees to the wake to avoid that. I told you, it was a quick motor sail today. So fast that as soon as we arrived, Patricia already went to the bow of Joy to do her daily workout routine before we started out our day. Por hoje deu, pessoal, bora fazer a trilha agora, que a gente vai ter que subir uma montanha. Today again we have our friends from Okolo pick us up at Joy to go explore this island. We have now arrived in Otok Lopud, so we went to explore the island. We always try to go as high as we can on the island. Try to have a look around from up there is amazing. 
and today we spotted Joy and Okolo resting peaceful in the bay just below us. We decided to walk all the way to the other side of this island, where we have heard they have a pretty beach and a restaurant that we plan to eat something before we go back, and of course have some gelato. Without a doubt for me, the most challenging part of sailing is the weather. Of course, you can plan accordingly and find the best anchorages possible, but there are weeks when the weather is simply not in our favor. We have to be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. The forecast was showing bad weather for the next few days, and where we were was actually going to be safe, but we decided to re-anchor Joy more to the center of the bay in case the wind suddenly changed directions on us and the anchor had to reset. Actually, during bad weather around here, I take the opportunity to do some projects around Joy. Today, I will install LED lights in our cabin and exchange the sacrifice and node we have on our water heater. I'm sure Patricia will find other things to do as well, as she wanted to put the new juicer extractor for a test. This is what our water heater boiler. Uh, it's a quick B360 liters, and what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna try to replace the node that we have inside the heating element. This is a job that's supposed to be done every 12 months. We forgot, so it's already 20 months. So we're gonna see how uh, deteriorated is the uh, node that we have inside. Uh, for you guys that don't know what this is, this is like a uh, this is a metal that goes with the heating element that is supposed to be a sacrifice metal. So before it gets to, you know, the corrosion gets to the uh, heating elements, it gets to this first. So replacing every 12 months, it's advisory because that way you have like uh, your uh, water heater well and good for many years to come. So this is the first time I'm doing it. So I looked at the instructions and I'm trying to, to make it happen. So I'll probably make some mistakes, but uh, hope crossing my fingers, I'm not gonna get water all over joy here. So here, what we have is uh, the water heater has 60 liters of water. So I'm gonna drain uh, from uh, little holes that there is over there, about 30 liters. So whenever I open to remove the heating element, all the water doesn't come out on the bilge. So I try to drain with this, but it's gonna be like 30 liters on this. So it's like 30 times or 50 times. I don't know how much I have here. So uh, I, I decided just to let it go to the bilge and uh, once he fills up, the bilge pump is gonna throw the water uh, out of uh, joy. So that's the new strategy in draining the water heater. So what I need to do now is to remove this heating element that is there. But I think uh, I need another tool. This one, look, uh, yeah, it's kind of small for it. So let's see if I can get it out. So as you can see, the anode is totally gone. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, to clean it and replace it. There we go. So as you guys can see it, uh, he kind of he he attached this to this, and this is the node. So it's like uh, it will work. It will corrode the uh, a node. It's not what we. Uh, you can buy another one and put it here, but unfortunately we didn't have the original one. So um, the hardware store, the guys were kind enough to do this fix here for me. So it worked out very well. Yeah, and it worked out. We have hot water. We use several apps to help us understand when bad weather will hit, the direction that a storm will come from, and its intensity. We love the fact that we had the opportunity to leave early this season. Take advantage of empty anchorages with almost no tourists around, but that comes with a price. The weather in this region only gets really good and stable with less storm and rain around mid-June. So we will have to endure the next few days stuck in this bay, crossing our fingers that the storm that we can already see here on the app is not as strong as it appears to be. Also, this storm will bring lots of rain. And after two days of intense rain, some maintenance and lots of fruit juice here at Joy, the sun came back to us and we decided to move to a new destination. But that and much more will bring it here on our next episode. Until then, stay safe and fair winds.